Welcome to Istanbul. This is where the East meets the West. This is a city where thousands of years of history seep through magnificent views. This is the setting of countless ancient stories. This is a city which will bedazzle you with its millions of flavors and aromas. This metropolis, with its 15 million inhabitants, offers you a different sensation at every street corner. So, today I will be giving you a quick tour of this amazing city and make sure that you have a general idea of where to go, what to do and what to taste. For sure, the area that attracts most of the tourist attraction in Istanbul is the historical peninsula full of traces from the Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman empires. The four main areas of this peninsula have been declared as World Heritage Areas. The square right in the middle of all major attractions is the Sultan Ahmed Square. This area served as a hippodrome during the Byzantine times and it hosted many rough and bloody chariot races. During the Ottoman times, this square came to be known as the Square of Horses. Scattered around the square, there are several Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman monuments that survived throughout the ages. You can find many tourist information offices, souvenir shops and cafes here. Taksim. This square now serves as the busiest meeting point of the city, where both locals and tourists flock together to enjoy the various sites, restaurants and nightlifes. But at the starting point of the Istiklal Avenue, there is a group of lively fast food shops and their specialty is the world famous Döner Kebab. These are a must try. As you are crossing the square, stop and take a look at the Republic Memorial. Also across from the square, you can see one of the most important Turkish Republic era architectural works, the Atatürk Culture Center. Here we are, standing right on the Istiklal Avenue, which is one of the busiest pedestrian streets in the world. On an average day, two million people walk on the street. And there's action 24 hours a day and seven days a week in this place. Along the street, there are shops, shopping malls, cafes, restaurants, bars and nightclubs that cater to all kinds of tastes. This two kilometer long street ends in Tunay, where you can take the world's oldest subway down to the Bosporus. If you're in a hurry to get to Tunay, you can hop on the nostalgic tram that goes all along the Istiklal Avenue. A lot of locals think that Ortaque has the best view of the Bosporus. There are lots of souvenir shops and cafes along the shore and you can take amazing pictures with the Bosporus Bridge in the background. This little town also offers a vibrant nightlife for everyone of different tastes and budgets. You can start the tour of the peninsula by feeding the pigeons right here in front of the new mosque. The Ottoman Empire was governed for 400 years from here, the Topkapı Palace. This palace sits on top of the hill overlooking the entry point of the Bosporus. Today, this palace is turned into a museum that showcases the priceless treasures of the Ottoman dynasty. Jewelry, weapons, clothes as well as Islamic relics. While here, be sure to visit the harem buildings where all the concubines of the sultans lived. Do you enjoy museums? How about this magnificent archaeological museum that showcases items from the antique ages? 
This museum is located down the hill from the Topkapi Palace, on the way to the Gülhane Park, and it houses many surviving traces of ancient Anatolian civilizations. Hagia Sophia has been standing here on the Sultan Ahmed Square for 15 centuries. This building is one of the world's most important monuments of the architectural history. It's the oldest cathedral of the world. It has been built as an Orthodox church, and when Ottomans conquered Istanbul, it was converted into a mosque. With the foundation of the Republic in Turkey, it has been secularized and turned into a museum. Behind me is the spectacular Blue Mosque. This 400-year-old mosque came to be known as the Blue Mosque because of the blue tiles adorning its interior walls. This mosque is currently operational and locals fill up the space five times a day for their prayer rituals. The amazing cistern of Yerebatan was built in the same year as the Hagia Sophia and it has been the source of water for the palaces for the Byzantine and Ottoman empires. It used to hold 80,000 cubic meters of water. Today it has half a meter high water with a fantastic cafe where poetry and music recitals take place. Here we stand in the Jalalul bathhouse. This is the address where you can get an authentic Turkish bath experience. There are separate sections for men and women here. After your foam massage, you can get a rest at the cafe and shop around for healing soaps of various scents as souvenirs. Istanbul is the only city that served as the capital of three huge empires that spanned over two continents, namely Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman. To discover all the mosques, palaces and Bosporus views, you can take the hop-on, hop-off buses that depart from the Sultan Ahmed Square. This bus goes all around the historical city, moves on to the Taksim Square area and continues to offer a ride showcasing the magnificent views of the Bosporus. We are now in front of the Dolmabahce Palace. This palace was built in 1856 and the Ottoman emperors continued ruling the country from here. In the 19th century, a lot of Western influence was present in the Ottoman palace, so there's a striking taste of Baroque architecture in this building. Actually, a mixture of European architectural trends of the time, this style came to be known as Turkish Rococo. Stretching 600 meters along the Bosporus, this magnificent building is where Atatürk, the founder of the Turkish Republic, died in 1938. Are you into the arts? If you are into discovering local artists or just into strolling through some exhibitions, Istiklal Avenue offers great many modern art galleries. Yapukrede, Borusan, Salt and Akbank are some of the most prominent art galleries in the city. The Galata Tower has been used as an observation tower by many people of Istanbul throughout the history since the Genoan times. Before you get on top of the tower to take in the magnificent Istanbul views, you can visit many cafes, wine houses, music shops and local designer shops scattered around the tower. The best way to experience Bosporus is to use water transport. For this, you can hop on the traditional city liner boats and hop on and off at many places along the Bosporus. Or you can choose to take a touristic private tour with guides, explaining the sights and attractions along the way.
of course the most exquisite Bosporus experience is to rent a private yacht and sunbathe up on the deck. Building waterside residences along the Bosporus became a tradition since the 16th century. These were used mostly as summer houses for prominent families who had their main residences inside the wall of the old city. These are the most unique examples of Ottoman architecture as they are built right on top of the water with three or four stories, with bow windows, with a boathouse and no balconies. Today, there are only 360 of these waterside residences that survived and their value can reach 40 million euros. They are among the most expensive real estates in the world. The Maiden Tower story is a well-known Istanbul legend. A king learns from one of his oracles that his daughter will be killed by a snake bite by her 18th birthday. To protect his daughter, the king builds this tower on the water, away from any snake, and he imprisons his daughter here. However, the prophecy still manifests as a snake enters the tower inside one of the birthday presents that the girl receives on her 18th birthday. Today, you can reach the tower by boat and have a dinner with a 360 view of Istanbul. Right across from the Galatasaray school is the historic Cité de Pera building. After the big Babel fire, the passage hall of this building started hosting flower shops and drinking halls and it came to be known as the Flower Passage. After you cross the Flower Passage, you step into the fish market. Here, you should make sure that you taste the sea mussels. Either fried or stuffed, these mussels are an Istanbul delicacy. These are just delicious. <laughs> if you're up for a wild night out in Istanbul, this area of small streets is where you start. This is Nevizade. Seven nights a week you can come here and order some rakken appetizers, watch the flocks of people stroll by and get yourself prepared for a tough night of bar hopping. If you see a trio or a quartet of musicians going around with their instruments, you should tip them 15 to 20 euros to stop and play you a classical Turkish song or two. At the end of the Istiklal Avenue, there is this buzzing area of intertwining little streets called the Asmalı Mescid. This is another area that serves as a nightlife center of Istanbul. Since the 1900s, lots of bohemians and struggling artists have been dwelling here and nowadays it offers many restaurants, bars and concert halls that will keep you entertained till the morning hours. Show your little dance moves in dance clubs or listen to an amazing rock concert in one of the small concert halls scattered around the area. Right behind us is the Spice Bazaar. Here you can find all kinds of herbs and spices. Medicinal, gastronomical, aphrodisiac, everything. You can find seeds for Istanbul flowers, pet animals and many little surprise items. When you see the queue in front of the historical Mehmet Efendi Turkish coffee shop, don't mind the wait and get in line. This is one of the many must-taste items in Istanbul. 
Silk garments and carpets, high quality leather products, jewelry, purses, accessories, the list goes on and on. These are just a few of the hundreds of goodies that you can find in the Grand Bazaar. This is one of the world's oldest and biggest covered markets. Be ready to meet incredibly friendly shopkeepers who are fluent in your native language. Keep in mind that the shops in the bazaar pay their rent in gold. If you're interested in leather products, Kuzu is a must-visit destination. The 52-year-old company is the main producer of world's famous luxury brands. Their newest store is located in the heart of Sultan Ahmed, which is also the biggest leather store of the old city area. You can find a wide range of fashion products for both men and women. Their collection includes trendy leather jackets, stylish shirling coats and luxury fur products as well as a wide selection of bags and accessories. Thank you.